prepare yourselves for an inestimable disaster of exceptional extent. Balu, the red Goliath star balanced on the edge of our system, is conveying dismal messages through the universe. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have uncovered something significantly agitating about this enormous heavenly body. As eminent astrophysicist Brian Cox gives a grave admission, the inquiry looms. Would we say we are on the incline of seeing a disastrous cosmic explosion? A blast that could everlastingly change the night sky as far as we might be concerned? We should make a plunge into the amazing embroidered artwork of the universe where stars are conceived, live, and pass on in staggering design. One star has as of late caught the creative mind and worry of cosmologists and the public the same. This star is Balu, a red supergiant of massive extent and age, arranged prominently in the heavenly body Orion. Its unmistakable ruddy tint and variable splendor had for some time been a wellspring of interest. However, ongoing improvements have strengthened interest in this heavenly monster. As we investigate the nature of Balu, we end up on the cusp of a possibly fantastic occasion in the existence cycle of this star. In any case, what might these progressions in Balu at any point imply? Could it be said that we are seeing the preface to an inestimable display of impossible scale? Balu, roughly multiple times bigger than our sun, is a heaven behemoth. Its enormous size is nearly outside human ability to grasp. Envision a star so tremendous that were it to supplant our sun, its surface would stretch out past the circle of Mars, overwhelming Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its heavenly hug. This mind-blowing size isn't simply a demonstration of Balu's actual qualities, yet additionally addresses its stage in the heavenly life cycle. As a red supergiant, Balu is in the nightfall of its presence, a stage described by development and cooling following a life spent melding hydrogen into helium in its center. However, what about the age of Balu? This star, accepted to be around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years of age, is generally youthful in human terms, yet ancient concerning heavenly lifetimes. Its ongoing red supergiant stage is the perfection of millions of long stretches of heavenly development, a period set apart by emotional changes and cycles that have changed it from a hot blue star to the red Goliath we see today. The existence pattern of stars like Balu is an account of change driven by the steady powers of atomic combination and gravity. Balu's unmistakable rosy shade is one more sign of its ongoing stage. The red tone is a consequence of its somewhat cooler surface temperature contrasted with different stars like our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Balu's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature permits Balu to radiate light at frequencies that give it a red appearance. However, this tone isn't simply a visual quality. It gives pieces of information about the star's state of being and the cycles happening inside its immense gaseous spread. Adding to Balu's persona is its authentic variety. Changes in Balu's apparent splendor and its variability have fascinated stargazers and sky watchers for a really long time. Normally, Balu goes through a 400-day cycle alongside a more extended cycle that stretches around five years. These cycles have been recorded as far back as 1836, conceivably considerably prior in native oral customs. Be that as it may, what makes Balu truly cryptic isn't simply its changing splendor, but its anomaly. Not at all like many stars that follow an anticipated example, Balu sporadically digresses from its musical diminishing and lighting up, indicating intricate and less comprehended processes happening inside its epic structure. Recent groundbreaking disclosures have definitely stood out of cosmologists and stargazers overall. With a startling and sensational change in its appearance, an occasion currently broadly known as the incomparable diminishing, in late 2019, the red supergiant Balu, quite possibly the most splendid star in the night sky and a noticeable element of the Orion heavenly body, started to diminish bafflingly. The star's diminishing was articulated to the point that it started losing its iridescence at a typical pace of 0.01 sizes each day, arriving at its most reduced brilliance in February 2020. Balu, ordinarily apparent to the unaided eye even in light-polluted regions, turned out to be uniquely fainter, a change perceptible even to novice spectators. However, there's one issue with attempting to screen the exercises of Balu, the time oddity. 
At the point when we take a gander at a star like Balu, we are not seeing it as it exists in the present, but as it was in the past. Because of the time it takes for light to make a trip to us, in Balu's case at roughly 725 light years away, the light we see today left the star almost seven centuries prior. This delay makes it trying to foresee and screen unexpected changes in a star's way of behaving, as we are essentially looking into its past. The Balu darkening occasion filled in as a sign of the intrinsic troubles in progressively galactic perceptions and the impediments of our comprehension while managing the tremendous enormous scopes and the time oddity they present. The unfolding of Balu's divine show was firmly checked by Andrea Dupree, associate overseer of the Center for Astronomy at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team. They used Hubble to break down the behemoth star as a feature of a three-year study to screen variations in Balu's external environment. These perceptions offered a special understanding into the elements of a variable star like Balu, which consistently extends and contracts, causing changes in brightness. Hubble's aversion to bright light permitted the specialists to test the layers over the star's surface, which were warmed partially by the star's fierce convection cells. Further examination of the Hubble spectra taken at various focuses throughout 2019 and 2020 estimated the movement of material in Balu's external climate. Particularly, the spectra zeroed in on magnesium-2 lines, which are characteristic of the star's environmental circumstances. These perceptions showed material moving at rates of around 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its external air. This hot, Thick material ultimately expanded great many miles from Balu and was the forerunner to the residue cloud that prompted the star's darkening. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice the ordinary measure of material from Balu's southern half of the globe was lost over the three months of the darkening. This mass misfortune was huge, particularly taking into account that, similar to all stars, Balu ceaselessly loses mass, albeit at a rate far more prominent than that of our sun. The size of this mass launch and the resulting darkening started discussions among cosmologists about whether this occasion could be a forerunner to a cosmic explosion blast. The nearness of Balu, around 725 light-years from Earth, adds to the interest, as any such blast would be noticeable from Earth and given an uncommon chance to notice a cosmic explosion very close. However, this has yet to be answered. What does this darkening occasion predict for Balu's future? Is it a sign of a looming cosmic explosion, or just an extraordinary episode in the star's long and complex life? Several hypotheses were proposed to make sense of this unexpected change. One predominant hypothesis proposed a stage in the cosmic explosion blast process, a speculation that got some decent forward movement because of the normal conviction that Balu is approaching a mind-blowing finish. Another well-known hypothesis invoked dust, potentially from the actual star, clouding our view. Balu, like other red supergiants, is known to shed material, and it was felt that this material could shape a residue cloud sufficiently thick to diminish the star's light. A third explanation considered changes in the star's photosphere, the visible surface layer, which could influence its apparent brightness. Further examination using various observational methods unraveled this mystery. Spectroscopic examinations showed a drop in Balu's effective temperature, suggesting that the darkening could be due to a large dark spot on the star's surface. This hypothesis was supported by the observation that Balu's temperature decreased by approximately 170 Kelvin around the time of the darkening, highlighting tremendous changes on its surface. Ultimately, the way to understanding this strange peculiarity came from humanity's sentinel in space, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble's observations revealed that the darkening of Balu was most likely caused by a massive launch of hot material into space. This material formed a residue cloud that darkened a portion of the star's surface, truly diminishing how much light reached us from Balu. The residue cloud was believed to have formed from super-hot plasma, which ejected from a large convection cell on the star's surface and then traveled through its hot atmosphere to the colder outer layers. As it cooled, it formed dust grains creating a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic observations, which began in January 2019, were critical in outlining the timeline leading to Balu's darkening. These observations captured signs of dense heated material traveling through the star's atmosphere in the months preceding the darkening in December 2019. Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star darkening in brightness, particularly on its southern hemisphere. 
This material, which was initially brighter than the star's normal brightness, eventually led to the formation of a foreboding shadow as it moved outward and cooled. The hypothesis was that this outflowing material and the resulting foreboding shadow caused the star's abrupt darkening. The size of this launch is truly remarkable, moving Balu into a cosmic spotlight. The star ejected mass equivalent to around 400 billion times the mass typically produced in a standard bit. This ejected material, believed to weigh several times as much as our moon, was a significant event for Balu as well as for how we might interpret heavenly mechanics. However, how might such a massive discharge of material impact Balu and cosmic explosion theories at large? The implications for cosmic explosion theories are significant. Traditional understanding posits that red supergiants like Balu shed mass at a somewhat constant rate before the hazardous end of their lives. However, the size of this launch challenges this idea, suggesting a more tumultuous and perhaps erratic end of life stage for these stars. Balu, at some point, may prepare for its great finale, a cosmic explosion blast. Late examinations hypothesize about the timing of such an event, suggesting that it could be sooner than previously thought, possibly in just a few decades. The concept of a bow shock is another critical piece of the Balu puzzle. As this huge star tears through space at roughly 67,000 miles per hour relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock similar to the wake formed by the bow of a moving boat. This peculiarity occurs as the star's outer layers interact with the interstellar gases and dust, providing a grand spectacle of the star's dynamic nature and its interaction with the cosmic environment. The study of this bow shock informs us about Balu's current status as well as adds to how we might interpret heavenly evolution and mass loss processes. However, what of the star's new way of behaving? Balu's surface has been seen to cool and become less dense following the discharge event, leaving the star in an unstable state even years later. Hydrodynamic simulations suggest an association between the star's convective activities, the mass discharge, and resulting throb mode switching. This ongoing instability raises questions about the internal cycles driving these changes and how they could progress from here on out. Furthermore, the mass loss pace of Balu, as noted, is significantly higher than many other stars, indicating a complex interplay of internal forces. The pulsed throb somewhat responsible for this mass loss is constrained by the constant energy dissipation through shock intensity and mass discharge. Such observations highlight the dynamic and somewhat unpredictable nature of Balu's life cycle, prompting cosmologists to rethink their models of celestial evolution. However, with all these dramatic changes, is Balu on the edge of going cosmic explosion? The question poses a potential threat in the galactic local area. While the timing of such an event remains uncertain, the new unprecedented mass discharge has indeed shifted the discussion, pointing to a more imminent end than previously expected. Theories now wrestle with the implications of such massive material loss and how it impacts the star's stability and future. As the galactic community looks eagerly at Balu, another celestial event captures our attention and offers a clear nearby study. The Cosmic Explosion SN 2023 ISF. This fantastic blast occurred in the world more chaotic one, conversationally known as the Pinwheel System, situated a simple 21 million light years away. Discovered in May 2023, SN 2023 ISF serves as a sign of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe, where stars carry out their lives in a grand ensemble of creation and destruction. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, Balu remains as a guide of discovery, offering insights into the inner workings of stars and the forces that shape our cosmic landscape.